beauties and welcome back to my channel. Ladies, we all know that prevention is the best cure when we talk about aging. But wouldn't it be even better if you could make your own anti-aging serum without going to supermarkets and spending hundreds of pounds for those really expensive brands that contain also loads of toxic chemicals? Well, today I'm going to teach you how you can make it yourself. So the ingredients I'm going to be using for this tutorial are really easy to find. You can find them online, on Amazon, you can go to Whole Foods or to your local grocery store. But they are really easy to find and if you don't have to use all of the ingredients that I'm using because I'm just showing you everything that you can use and I'm just making a concentrate of goodness. But even if you use one, two or three of those, it's going to be just as fine. But if you want to maximize your serum's efficiency, then the more ingredients you use, the better it will be, obviously. Okay, so the first ingredient I'm going to use in my tutorial is this Rosa Mosquita seed oil, also known as Rosa Rubiginosa seed oil. This is the oil when we talk about anti-aging and it's a must-have for every woman. Literally every woman should have this on her bathroom shelf because it's a concentrated of anti-aging properties. It contains omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin C, vitamin K. It contains carotenoids and retinol which is essential for your skin regeneration. It's healing, soothing, moisturizing, it's just amazing. Then we have argan oil. This is another fantastic oil and we always hear talking about it but we don't really know why it's so good for us. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Because it contains omega-6 fatty acids, it contains triglycerides which are essential for your skin regeneration, it contains vitamin E, it's nourishing, healing, soothing, antioxidant and anti-aging. Do I need to say more? Then I'm going to use apricot oil, which contains omega-6 fatty acids, it contains triglycerides, vitamin E, A, and it's soothing, it's tonifying, it's revitalizing and regenerating, and it also protects you against UV rays. Then I'm going to use calendula oil, and this one can't be missing because it contains omega-6 and 9, it contains carotenoids and flavonoids and it's inflammatory, it's antioxidant, soothing and healing. Then we have carrot oil which contains omega-6 and 9, it contains um, beta-carotene which is a super powerful antioxidant and also triglycerides, it's soothing, it's antioxidant and it also keeps your skin elastic. Then we have grapeseed oil, which is great because it contains omega-6 and 9, vitamin E and it regulates your sebum production. So it's great for skins uh, that are oily and combination like mine. Then I'm using almond oil, which contains omega-6 and triglycerides and it's soothing, it's strengthening and softening. Then we have vanilla infused sesame seed oil. You can use normal sesame seed oil, obviously you don't have to use a vanilla infused one, but I love vanilla. So this one contains omega-6 and 9, vitamin E, but also selenium, which is a powerful antioxidant. This oil is amazing because it's antioxidant, it's regenerating, it's softening, and anti-aging so it's definitely going in my serum okay so now we are done with oils and we're gonna pass on to essential oils so the first essential oil I have here is geranium which is antibacterial antiseptic and anti-inflammatory so it's purifying and it will help you in your fight against acne if you have any if you don't have any it's just good to have it anyway then I'm using Palmarosa essential oil, which is antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral, which means it helps your immunitary system. Okay, so I'm not going to talk to you about all the properties of all the essential oils I'm going to use, because this video is going to take forever. So I'm just going to write them down here for you. But remember, just because um, I don't want to talk about them, it doesn't mean that they're not important. They're still really important in your composition, just as the normal oils. Then I'm using Cypress essential oil. Ilang Ilang. 
lavender, grapefruit, and vitamin E. The tools you will need are a teaspoon, a funnel, and a small container. I'm using a roll-on container, but you can use a spray one if you want, or just a normal bottle. Okay, let's get started and let's take our little container. I've got this roll-on here, so let's take out the lid and put the fennel in. And we're gonna put all the ingredients directly inside the small container. So take your teaspoon and start taking your carrier oils which are the, the big bottles basically, not the small essential oils. And we are gonna add a teaspoon of each one of the carrier oils. So first one I have is the Rosa Mosquita. Then we have the Argan Oil. Then we have the Apricot Oil. Then we have calendula oil. Next we have sesame seed oil. Then we have carrot oil. Next we have almond oil. Maybe too much. Then we have grapeseed oil. Okay, now let's pass on to the essential oils and we're gonna add only two to three drops of each one of them. So let's start with palma rosa essential oil. Then we have cypress essential oil. Grapefruit. Geranium. Lavender. Ilang Ilang. And last but not least, our lovely vitamin E. So when you're finished, just take the funnel off and careful with any spillages. Put the lid back on. So there you go. And make sure you shake it each time before use. So when should you apply this serum? It's best if you apply it just before going to sleep so you have all night for your skin to absorb all those nice properties and nutrients and vitamins and also you have to apply it after you've washed your face with a gentle soap and after you've applied your toner so your skin is nice and clean and ready to absorb all those nutrients. So you might think that Buying all these oils is gonna cost you more than actually going to the supermarket and buying one of those anti-aging serums. But in the long run, this is gonna be so much cheaper actually because every time you make your serum, you're just using a really small quantity of each one of these oils and they are gonna last you forever. And you can reuse them and make more and more each time you finish your serum. So in the long run, this is actually much, much better. So this was it for today's tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you make your own and how it worked for you. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!